Yeah, um, within the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service, um, our role has changed over the last sort of five or ten years, and um, from a more traditional reactive um, response of what people expect from the fire service, going to fires and road traffic accidents, then um, you know we still do that, obviously. Um, but why loneliness is important is because more and more we're actually um, getting into the doors of people's houses, we're meeting people, um, we're carrying out what are called home fire safety visits, um, but we're coming across other things which can adversely impact um, on those individuals. Um, one of the key things is isolation, um, it's loneliness, um, and whilst we're, we're very aware that um, uh, Loneliness and isolation have adverse health issues, you know, emotionally and physically. Um, from our point of view, it also puts them in a higher risk bracket um, because if somebody is emotionally unwell or, or physically or, or mentally um, not well, then um, other things could happen. And from our point of view, um, and with the demographics across Scotland, um, we can then hopefully uh, assist with our areas of work, i.e. fire safety, but also link in to other organisations and work in partnerships. So it really is important and it's a, it's a new area for us, but we're, we're really pleased to be involved in it. To address loneliness, we're in a very privileged position really because um, we still have a, a good relationship with the communities and with individuals. Our, our fire stations, um, a high percentage of them are part-time firefighters, which means they actually live in the community. So when we visit people carrying out our own work, you know, we can sit down, we can speak, we, can, we, we know the networks that can support them as well. So um, we're currently working with the NHS, we're working with the third sector interface, um, we're doing a lot of work ourselves and social services. Um, so yeah, um, anything we can do really which will help um, raise the profile of the problem because it is a problem which I think don't think a lot of people realize um, and we will do. Um, well first of all today's summit um, from my professional perspective and personal perspective has, has been really beneficial it's been an eye-opener I think what it has highlighted is the, um, the extent of, of the, the potential problems but also the potential solutions and the ways we can we can positively move forward so um, already I've met a variety of people from different organizations I've got their contact numbers and again we're going to work together and look for some perhaps innovative solutions which which can help um, so on a personal level that's going to be great but also I think I touched on it earlier I think it's about raising the profile um, one of the problems I see with with elements of isolation and loneliness is there isn't a tangible, measurable um, scale. You know, people can have heart disease, they can have various um, problems, but loneliness is a bit vague. So I think it's really important that the, the profile is raised and, and perhaps people in, at higher levels within organisations and, and um, uh, government, etc., local authorities, um, do actually um, address it. And I think today's been a, a great part in, in making that happen.